he's in a really bad position unless he can just completely dominate it. All right. Well, with that, let's jump into our third replay we have for you guys this week. That's going to be Two Flower versus Lull Steamroller. It was their first game of their match set. Is everybody ready to start? All right. All right. We're going to start this replay in three, two, one. I'm going to hand the casting back over to our team of Best Team Maker and Lacante. Take it away. All right, welcome back, guys. Two Flower versus Low Steamroller here. And as usual, let's talk about their draft right now. Low Steamroller going for Pigeons, Squirrels, Toads. Two Flower with players players Pigeons. Go for a very similar draft right here. The only real difference is Low Steamroller has Toads, whereas Two Flower has Barbed Wire, and they opt for Lizards on Two Flower sides and Squirrels on Low Steamroller sides. Other than that, their decks are fairly identical. What this means is that Two Flower will have a slight advantage in the early game when it's just squirrels versus lizards. But what I want to talk about in this map, on this match specifically, is the map where Lol Steamroller's map is not that great. He is on the low ground, surrounded by hills. His expansions are fairly far away, whereas Two Flower has easy expansions, expansion access to the sides of his base. So he has a really easy to defend position. Is this um, where he is this where he just has to like plop down sniper balloons all over the map in order to protect his area and to That's one thing he can do. Or he can um try and secure the high ground close to his commander right now and hope to secure the game from there. Because if he can control that high ground, then he has access to at least another base, potentially two, depending on which direction two flower ends up going. Alright, now one of the main differences between the draft we're talking about is lizards and squirrels. How does that match up really fair between the two units right now? Well, the lizards will win generally in lower numbers, but the problem is that Lol Steamroller is actually running toads, which are quite obviously really good against lizards. So if the toads come into the mix, then the lizards will have a really hard time actually doing damage. And as we as we're saying this, Lol Steamroller does go for his closest expansion, which I think is the right play, and he put starts putting Warrens up on the high ground. So it looks like he will try and control this high ground position in front of his expansion. Two Flower looks like he's gonna be going for the early ferrets right now. Has a small contingent of two lizard warrens. He's gonna get his pigeon warren out right now. How do you think ferrets will affect it for two flower? Is it easy uh, to they should go be good. Is he just gonna go can... for a poking play? Yeah, he can go for a really easy poking play because both of Lost Steamroller's expansions and his main base are on the low ground. So if he can secure any high ground near those bases, he has a really easy time taking out the mills themselves. All right, here we go. Two Flower showing off his ferret here, forcing Lost Steamroller to maneuver his army around the area. The second ferret is now coming out. Here we go. We're going to have our first engagement. Lizards are on squirrels right now as the ferrets are slowly poking their way through right now. Well, Steamroller does take out a lot of the lizards, however, but he feels like he needs to back out at that point. He does have some of his toads now online for yeah, the next Toad's fight. doing major work right there, taking out a lot of lizards all at once. And both players do have pigeons, so uh, the high ground advantage is nullified a little bit, as long as those pigeons are out. Alright, now it's going to be Lil Steamroller pushing back too far back to his side of the map. And Lol Steamroller is going to put down a forward sniper balloon to still, again, try and control this rage, this high ground in the middle of both bases, as that is the big point of contest in this game. Alright, Two Flower going in with his army uh, army of lizards right now. The Toads, they try to do a lot. To so I think that was worth worth the trade for Two Flower. He, did, he lost all his pigeons and most of his lizards, but he took out the sniper balloon, denying Lol Steamroller that. Uh, strong defensive position on the map. Two Flower continuing to poke with his ferrets right now, trying to get them away from this fight, making sure they don't die needlessly here. Now, that last fight, I didn't think the Toads really actually blew up that much here. It seemed like they tanked a lot of damage, but then after that, they just forced a little steamroller back here. What's, what's, what, what's it's kind incredibly of... tricky to play lizards against Toads because of their short range. You need to be really quick on your fingers if you want to try and avoid the big toad hits. And once again, both players just dancing around each other. Two flower trying to poke on through. Here we go, another engagement at the ready. The toads are going off right now, but the lizard army is still pushing on through very slightly. 
No, he has to back out. There's too many squirrels left alive after that. Now, Whereas the point. toads don't kill the lizards per se, they do weaken them a whole bunch. And here we go, once more, two. Oh, Ferret's out in front. Here. One Ferret's gonna be taken down, a little bit of a bad position there, but now the lizard army is in some way of effect to protect the second Ferret. But still, I think Lost Steamroller comes ahead out of that trade. Now, this is the point where Two Flower should consider trying to put set down barbed wire. Could be really good if he can put it down, but with Paul Steamroller oh, well. playing up in his face, he's gonna go for an attack onto Two Flyers' expansion. He goes for a warren, but doesn't really get it, and now his army's in getting pushed back slowly. Ferret's shot's going off. But again, most of Two Flyers' lizards get taken out, and Paul Steamroller has a lot of squirrels left over. Here we go, Lol Steamer now cutting around to the backside, around where the tier 3 Warren is. Too far trying to get his wolf off. Will he be able to get it out in time? He is slowly pushing out some of Lol Steamer's squirrels right now. As they're slowly trying to make their way back into the fight. Toes now going off against the lizards here. But here we go, the wolf buff now comes out for the small lizards that are left. That was unfortunate. I think Lol Steamroller. He committed a bit too hard for that push, and his units weren't really focusing anything in particular. He was hitting uh, a tier 1 warren for a bit. He was trying to take out the tier 3, which was the right play, but his army was too thinned out at that point. So now he's in a really tricky position where his opponent has tier 3 out, and it's a wolf, which is going to combine nicely with the lizards that he has. He's sold his ferrets, though, so it's just lizards and a wolf currently, with a little bit of pigeon support. Alright, two fire going in. He has a wolf buff at the ready. Here we go. Now low steam is the one backing up into his base. Two fire's gonna be using this trance trying to take out some warrants here at the same time. The back lines, the wolf is being slowly picked up. He does manage to maneuver him around. Now the lizard army is just going in all around low steam yeah. squirrels. This expansion looks to be done for as two fire is now surrounding it. It's a dead expansion. The buffed lizard just tore through low steam roller's army. And now what does he do? He has very few options left to expand. And his main base has find out and he throws in the towel, causing two flower to take game one in this series. But we don't know what happens now. All right, there we go. So nice. let's, shall we hear our thoughts from Captain Fog and Hunter? What do you think about that game? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think as has been mentioned, um, taking the the right lost team or take definitely taking starting out taking the right actions, uh, having those toads out against that pure lizard army. Um, I'm not quite sure where it went wrong though. Uh, Hunter, thoughts on this game? I think uh, that ferret play in the mid game was really good for Two Flower because. Um, Lol Steamroller was spending a lot of his time trying to dance his tier 1 army around, trying to minimize the ferret uh, value. But the two flowers still got tons of ferret value with uh, his shots, killing loads of tier 1s, which set him at a little bit of an advantage, a little bit of an army advantage, and he managed to come ahead in some fights just through the raw advantage of that. And I think Lost Steamroller just needed maybe to just play more Toads because he didn't have quite enough to be able to weaken uh, his army enough once uh, the ferrets had done their work. I feel like we're also seeing that when um, Lost Steamroller, he, ha he actually did have an advantage. It was almost about to close out the game, but then his units just began to sort of scatter. They began to target different things all at once, and that just allowed the Tier 3 Warren, which was right next to the army and could have been targeted, the wolf just popped out, called out his buff for the remaining lizard, and just pushed out Lowell Steamer from that area, and from there just went all downhill for Lowell Steamroller. I mean, there's just a point, like, when you're going into the base like that, you have to find some point of focus for your army to go on to. Definitely, and right. it just didn't work out for Lowell Steamroller at that point. Well, as we can see from the standings here, Lowell Steamroller is sitting pretty at rank number three, so definitely seeing a lot of that good reaction... Uh, in terms of strategy, uh, showing up in these in this standings board, uh, so it'll be interesting to follow Lol Steamroller, uh, see if he makes it into the finals, and whether he can work on some of his uh, his unit composition and also maybe a little bit of micro, because uh, he's definitely got the the strategic mind uh, for the the builds that he's playing at the moment. Yeah, if you were to look at the bracket, you would see that he does end up winning that series. He just lost the first game. All right. Well, without further.